Right, hello, this is the lacrosse ball resurfacer and its purpose is to resurface lacrosse balls. And um, what happens after about a month or so of use, lacrosse balls become very slippery and um, unusable. So what ends up happening is the cross teams have to throw out hundreds of balls um, every month. And what this machine does is resurface the balls to make them usable again and uh, grippy. And it does that by sandblasting and let me just turn this on. This motor controls that and um, this is a Honda Civic windshield wiper mold, motor, uh, window motor. Um, this is where the sandblaster head would go and this whole device would be placed inside of a sandblaster and um, it would cover all uh, the, the whole area of the ball, uh, resurfacing it in about um, just over two minutes. This motor came out of a printer. Uh, it was donated to us by our science department, and um, you know it's got good power and obviously works good. All right, so our team name is Double M Lacrosse, um, and our problem statement is: Don't you hate it when lacrosse balls get slippery and you can't throw them accurately. And uh, testing, our first test we tried knurling, which you see at the bottom of wrenches, that diamond grip pattern. And we threw that into a lathe, and um, that didn't work because the balls are uh, they're too soft, and it just press in, and it wouldn't leave a pattern. So that didn't work. So next, we tried sandblasting by hand, and that ended up working very well, and we decided to stick with that. And these are just some pictures of our product and parts list. Um, total cost is about $535. Um, that's just individually. But if you, schools usually have a sandblaster, which is the main cost. So this really would cost only about 200 bucks. So uh, we used Autodesk Inventor to design our parts and this is our future design to hold four balls and um, it'd be a lot more efficient and faster as well.